Hey guys, it's Suman and um, I am just driving and I was actually inspired to do a quick video and um, it's about that very topic of inspiration. Uh, first of all, I want to apologize if I'm wearing, for wearing sunglasses. I know that, um, I don't know, it's really sunny. You know, I live in California, it's the middle of February, so this is what you can come to expect um, if, when you visit California. And um, anyways, it's bright, so someone just told me I look like Bruce Lee, by the way, so I told him that I fight like him too. <laughs> um, anyways, um, well, here's, here's what I'm talking about right now. I'm going to be talking about inspiration, okay? Inspiration. I, I want to share with you guys my state of mind as far as when it comes to inspiration and why it's essentially important, okay? Without inspiration, um, there is no motivation. Without motivation, there's really less or no productivity. Without productivity and action, your business dies. So we can see how important it is to be inspired. And I don't mean just by a movie or a book that you read or a convention or a speaker. I meant on a daily basis of choosing to be inspired. Utilizing inspiration as a state of mind as opposed to um, an action or something that occurs. And so um, for myself, obviously, there's some obvious things about um, California. The weather, when I wake up, it inspires me. Obviously, the scenery inspires me. Um, this house right here on PCH inspires me. When I say inspire, what does that mean? Well, obviously, the house is expensive. And I know in order to obtain a house like that and live really close to the beach, that you got to do a lot of work and you got to produce a lot of income. So that's very inspiring to me. Um, and so what I want to do is just talk about um, what inspiration means to you, the home-based business owner or the entrepreneur and why it's so necessary. Uh, first thing I want to do is talk about um, as an employee, like when you work for somebody, when you work for an employer, your inspiration technically, typically comes from um, the paycheck, you know? Um, it typically comes from meeting quotas. It typically comes from pleasing your employer and really producing in your position. So when you step outside of that as an entrepreneur, it's a whole new world. It's a whole new game. So you have to actually produce your own inspiration. And so um, I guess, and I don't know how it's gonna come out, um, but I wanna share with you my state of mind. Everything inspires me because I choose to let it, you know? Everything inspires me, you know? Um, people that I see riding their bike over there, that's inspiring, it inspires me to go work out, you know? People that I see, uh, nice cars that I see, that's inspiring as well. Um, the scenery is inspiring, but everything, I choose to let everything inspire me. Um, and so the purpose for that is a lot of times we have very um, immobile inspirations, whether it be a poster, a vision board, um, your why or the reason why you're doing this. Um, but you need to live in a state of being inspired by everything that you see. Everything, I mean, from buildings to people, regardless of what they're doing, um, you want to choose that and choose to be inspired by that. And um, I got I to gotta share with you guys this real quick. Look at this view. Anyone that knows me knows my love for the ocean. And um, I typically like to drive um, on PCH a lot because it's very inspiring to me. It reminds me of why I'm working as hard as I am to be very close to this specific area of the world. It's not cheap to live around this area. But I can, if I can finish, um, choose to let things inspire you, you know, whether it be someone else, whether it be a building that you see, knowing that there's so many talented people in there um, that's trying to serve one purpose. Um, whether it be someone's car, if it's a nice car, let that inspire you. If you see people working out, let that inspire you. If you see people working hard, and I just got my car washed not too long ago, and you know, just watching them drive my car, that inspired me. It inspired me to remind me that um, there's a lot of people that need the information that I, I know that might be help be able to help them um, develop something for themselves. You know, and so that's very inspiring. And um, that's really what I wanted to share. And I was I was driving here. Um, I was listening to. Um, some music and I realized, you know, hip hop music is very inspiring. You know, it's very explicit as well, but uh, many times these people um, have come from uh, really bad areas, times in their life. And um, when you listen to it, there's so much redemptive value um, within what they're talking about. And so right now I'm listening to um, an artist named Nas and um, he's good. You see it right now? I listen to it because there's so much redemptive value in what they're saying. They came from a very hard life. Um, they worked really hard to get to where they're at and now they're in a position where I purchased their music to listen to it in my car as I drive. And um, it's very inspiring to me. 
So um, I don't know how that's going to come out for you guys, but look for things to be inspired about on a daily basis. Okay, on a daily basis, look for things that will inspire you. Right here, look at this guy. In the middle of the day, that guy is riding his bike along this farm of PCH, which is about five miles. That's a lot of work. He's going against the wind. To me, that inspires me. It inspires me to want to go work out right now, to work on my health, you know? And so regardless of whatever it is that you come across on a daily basis, choose to let it inspire you. I think if you do, you'll find yourself motivated on a consistent basis, okay? You become much more of a positive person when you let things inspire you, okay? So let things inspire you. Remain inspired on a daily basis, okay? And I think you'll see a lot more motivation and productivity in your business as well. Um, with that being said, hope you're having a great day, and I will talk to you guys soon. Peace.